than, I mean, it will feel a lot different than classes previously. Um, you might, there, there's some stuff that I suggest you take some notes on. It will probably show up on our first quiz, but it's also, this is very interesting stuff. Um, quite different than, I mean, with different focus. Um, we're going to play with music some today, and hopefully the, the information will be useful for you. And I don't, please, from the outset, I'm going to have us exploring um, some kinds of music that really have found to be useful for, um, you know, lowering the stress response. Um, please, in no way, think that I'm trying to make you change what you already enjoy. Um, at all. Um, just a quick story, and I and kind of, it's the first time I've actually done this this way, so I'm interested to see how this turns out. But when I was going to school, when I was working my bachelor's degree, my associate's degree, um, I was going to school at Utah Valley, whatever it was back then, and um, one down in, in Orem. And there was this guy who came through, and he was, he was on a mission. He was on his own self-selected mission to save the world from rock and roll. And this was back when we had record players, you know, the vinyl, the turntables. And he's, he was going to prove to us that rock and roll was as evil as it gets. I mean, that rock and roll, the kind that we were listening to in the you know, early 80s, was just devil music. And so he brought in these records and he started playing them backwards. You know what I mean? Where you could hear the words, and I actually found online where the very things that he showed us 20 some years ago, I actually found a few, and there's some, some more on here, and I want to show them to you just really fast. It's kind of, don't get freaked out too much, but it's kind of eerie sounding. Um, you can find this at quite a few websites, but at, he showed us, he said, for example, Stairway to Heaven was one of our favorite you know, our favorite pieces of music, um, I was a huge Led Zeppelin fan. And Led Zeppelin, or A Stairway to Heaven happened to be one of my favorite songs of all time. I really enjoyed that song. And um, so he, he said, well, let me show you about Stairway to Heaven. It was a big crowd that he was doing this for. And, and imagine 25 years ago with record players and only we're doing it here online, but um, this is how the song sounds forward. This is the part of the song. There's the word. when you play this backwards. Um, and I don't know if you, can you see that? Let me make this larger. Let me make larger. Can you read that now? The reverse is, oh, here's to my sweet Satan, the one whose little path would make us sad, whose power is Satan, he'll give us those with him, 666, there was a little tool shed where he made us suffer, sad Satan. This is what it sounds like. This is what he played to us. We didn't see these words, but this is, exactly what it sounded like 25 years ago. Um, stating me, I'm sure, but um, 
the guy who's now, he's long dead, uh, the lead singer for Queen, but the, the song, I remember when this album came out, it was, um, on this album was the song, Another One Bites the Dust. And you've probably heard this. And I'm like, Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Ow! Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey. Another one bites the dust. Hey. Now, here's the words when that's played backwards. <laughs> and here's how it sounds. <laughs> I'd 
first thing I'd like to ask you is, um, I'd like you to tell me really quickly, what is the scariest movie you've ever seen? When I say the scariest movie, what immediately comes to mind is thrown out? Child's Play. Child's Play? Strangers? What's that one about? I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with most scary movies. Um, My wife refuses to watch. It's just like 